All right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The caterpillar frass does not match whatever it is at the Healy Healy. So I guess we had the big adventure sneaking into the Healy Healy Research Center for pretty much nothing. Awesome. I love it when that happens. Doo -doo 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 and in case we're going back to Quigley, telling her that absolutely nothing has happened. Quigley, can I talk to you? I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance, and I'm taking notes. What do oh, you want? Come on, Quigley. Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dodger Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples okay. I tested, and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? Got it. Yay. Cool. So, more running back and forth between Quigley and Camp Quigley. Do -do 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 -do. Do 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 back and forth, back and forth. You're in one place, then you go to the other, then you go back to where you were originally. Alright, Camp Quigley. Do 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 do. I don't need to analyze that. I don't need to analyze that. Oh. Okay, so you try the hibiscus. Match? Well, that doesn't match. Definitely not blue. Mosquito. No. Nope. That doesn't match. Okay, breadfruit. Not a match. Here we go, there's the match. A match? So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles. Whatever they are. Alright. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So now we go all the way back to Quigley, back to Quigley, back to Quigley, yay, 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 yay. And tell her that the, uh, Larissa Beta Odorata have been eating fritillated flag beetles. And here we go. Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Quigley! Have you got something? Mm-hmm. Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles? Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. No, no, it can't be fritillated flag beetles. That's impossible! It better be possible, because my days of analyzing frass are over. Yeah. Fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norse Abena are. Oh. The question is, why? Dun, 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 dun. Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Oh, darn. Where are you going? Yeah. Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. Why? I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. Wait, I know what? what? You can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. Hmm. I found it at Kaplu Cave when I was setting up frog traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay, I'll check it out. She has not been carrying us. We've been doing all her work for her. Oh well, I think that's the last you get to see of Quigley. I can't come down right now. Yeah, that's the last we'll get to see of Quigley for a while. Actually, the last we're going to see of pretty much a lot of things for a while. Because Nancy is finally going to get inside Kapu K. But before that happens, I'm going to visit Dr. Craven one last time.
You can ask him about the, uh, what's going on with these fritillated flag beetles, Dr. Craven? State your business. Oh, it's you. I'm supposed to let you in. Please tell me he's not asleep again. There he is. What is it now? Is it possible that the work you're doing here could be causing a sudden increase in the population of the fritillated flag no, beetle? No, it's impossible. Of course not. Besides, the fritillated flag beetle is an inconsequential species in this area. Oh. Not anymore. Here's the deal, Dr. Craven. I know that you're working for Aiken's Biotech and that whatever you're working on involves pineapples. I've seen them. Ooh. You're spying on me too? Uh-oh. I also know that something is damaging the local pineapple crop and that it's almost certainly fritillated flag beetles because for some reason they're out there multiplying like crazy. What mm -hmm. I don't know is, are you responsible? Dun, 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 dun. I should have known you were after something. Please leave. As soon as the newspapers hear about this, a lot of other people are going to be asking you the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you might as well tell me. I'm being paid to create a sunblock in pill form. So I'm developing a strain of pineapple that produces prodigious amounts of ferulic acid, a chemical that has shown great potential in this area. Now leave. I apparently have some double checking to do. Oh. Dr. Craven is angry with us, but at least we solved the I mystery. I said leave. Whoa. I said leave. You said what? I said leave. Oh, that's what you said. Okay. Well, he's very angry, but now we've solved the mystery of what's going on with the Healy Healy Research Facility and whether or not it's affecting the pineapple crop. Way to go, Nance! And now to solve the mystery of, uh... What exactly Mr. Mapu is doing at Kapu Cave? Alrighty-dighty. Put the nose ring in. A nose ring, of course. Ooh, it's looking at us. That's kind of scary. Ooh, and now the teeth are moving. I can move his teeth now. Now this is a puzzle, but uh, somewhere... Oh, wait. Right here, Frank Hardy called and said he found a picture of a creepy face with these symbols. Eel, turtle, shark, manta ray, porcupine fish, octopus, crab, and an urchin. So, we're going to spin the teeth in order to show that. Let me see, there's an... Uh, I don't see an eel, but there's a shark. There's the eel. Ah! Let's see, so it's eel, turtle, shark, manta ray. Turtle, manta ray. Ah! Okay, porcupine fish. Then an octopus. Oh, no. I have to do it all over again? Lame. Okay, shark. Eel. Porcupine fish. Porcupine fish. Now I need an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Do I have an octopus here? Is there an octopus there? There we go. That's how you do it. And now the cave is opened. And Nancy can go inside and view the Chamber of Secrets. It opened! I'd better call and tell Frank. It opened! You Frank. have reached Joe Hardy. And or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Frank, it's Nancy. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. Yeah. I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. Exploring. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Oh, no. Oh, well, so much for going out the same way I came in. Oh, that's not cool. But inside the cave, you can see many Phew, things. I feel like I'm in a sauna. Okay, it's very hot that's at lava. this part. No wonder it's so hot in here. Yay! Do, 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 do. And this little guy is sticking out his tongue. This guy isn't, so you want to do that. Which makes this appear, so you can jump to it. And then Nancy will jump from there to the next one. If that didn't happen, she would fall into the lava, and that wouldn't be very good. 
Further on in the cave, Nancy walks, she goes further on in the cave. Okay, so here's a puzzle. So here we see water, and then we see some light. Do, 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 do. Then we see some wind. And then we see some sizzling fire. Whoa! Okay! You do see some sizzling fire! And this is not the right way, is it? Whoa! Uh -oh. Hold on a second. Oh, I died before I could show you the puzzle. Whoops! 